All right, who's green with envy? Today we have the all new Toyota Tundra in the house. Now we did a launch video a while back, but on that video, we just basically test drove it for about an hour. This time we have it for the full week so we can see how it handles our day-to-day -day activities. This one happens to be the 2022 Army Green 4x4 with the double cab and the TRD off-road package. And if you're in the market for a full-size 4x4 pickup truck, this could be one of the best deals out there. Make sure to click the link in the video description to see our full walk around of the new Toyota Tundra where we go into all the finer details of the design of this vehicle. So on this particular one, we mentioned it does have the TRD off-road package. So you get a few different bits on it. Uh, first of all, you get the TRD grill, this big black menacing grill. You get the Tundra below it. You also get the inset LED fog lamps in the bumper here. You get standard LED headlamps. There are skid plates on this one. Also active grill shutters in behind this grill here. And of course, this army green. I'm loving, loving this color. I'm telling you, I'm normally not even a big fan of green. On each corner, you get 18 inch off-road wheels. This is specific to the TRD off-road package. The color match mirrors, I like how there is a contrast with the black and the green on here and you get the, the black tundra across here. You also get the proximity hands-free key, just touch and lock. That only applies to the front doors, but it's still a great feature to have. And this is the double cab. So you have four doors. The doors are a little bit more on the smaller side, not the same as a crew cab, but because of this size of a rear cabin, you get a full size six and a half foot bed compared to the five and a half foot uh, if you get, go for the crew cab on this one here. There's an SR5 on the rear door as well, opening up the fuel filler cap. Doesn't say anything about using premium fuel. That's always a good thing. This is a non-locking cap on this version here. And you get the TRD off-road badging here. Now on another video, when we had the TRD Pro, we showed you it actually had a, a bump switch. So you could use your body, your elbow, right in the rear pass, uh, driver's side tail light where you just bump here and it would release the tailgate. This one is not equipped with that. However, it is equipped with a, an electronic switch on the back of the tailgate or if you use the key fob and just hold the tailgate, there you go, remote uh, down, not remote up. It's not power activated to go up, but it does have a nice dampened effect. That gives you access to the full six and a half foot composite sheet uh, box. So this is composite. It's not metal. It's reinforced underneath with aluminum. Uh, the advantage of this, it's lighter, it's stronger, it's more durable, and it doesn't rust. So all big, big bonuses. If you know anything else about composite boxes, I was just talking to someone and they, they said that guys with snowmobiles don't like them. I'm not sure why. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think about this box. Anyways, on the box there are several different indentations. You can you can actually uh, put like shelving or put like two by fours in there to raise things up. To, so you can configure it how you want. You got nice tie downs in here. And for the rear window, this does not have a full um, power window, but that middle part is power operated to open and close it. One thing I wish this particular Tundra had though, and I know you can get, get it dealer installed, uh, but I really wish they would have incorporated some sort of a built-in bumper step just on the side here because getting into the back, it's just not that convenient without it. Sure, you can go and go on to that rear tire or just hop onto the back, but just a little step would be great. Let's take a look inside. Inside of the new Tundra is very, very spacious. We mentioned this in the previous video before. It's all updated. Now this double cab SR5 does not have some of the, the more premium features as the higher end models are, but guess what? 
it's not gonna break the bank either. So uh, multimedia wise, let's just start right there. Right in the center, you get an eight inch infotainment screen. If you go into the higher trim levels, uh, you'll, you'll actually get a 14 inch screen. But even this eight inch comes with wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Uh, the sound system is very, very good. It has a backup camera. However, it does not have the, uh, the 360 camera equipped on this, but it does have parking sensors front and rear. In behind the steering wheel, we have a 4.2 inch TFT display. It shows everything that you need. It shows all your towing information, your fuel economy. On the left side, you get a large tack and you have uh, on the right side, your speedometer. You do get a TRD steering wheel. Now this, particular uh, model is equipped with uh, cloth seats but they are heated and you get a heated steering wheel as well and it's fully heated top and the bottom not just the sides thank you Toyota for that we have power mirrors here we have power seats for both driver and passenger we do not have a sunroof equipped on this uh, and of course for the double cab it's adequate the kids you know what, it's, it's not as easy to actually get in and out of because it's not as long uh, for leg room back there, but it's, it's fine. It's not even in a pinch. We, we drove uh, this all week and had zero issue. They did actually even complain. And um, so, and I did a shoot actually one day and I put all my gear in the back. I flipped the, the rear seats up and that was no problem as well. So if you get the crew cab though, you get about 10 inches more leg room, which is a big deal. So if you are buying a truck uh, and your priority or, or one of your biggest things is that you're always gonna be carrying people in the back, you'll probably wanna get the crew cap. However, for a lot of people, a truck is for utility. Whether you're using it for work or you're using it for pleasure, I used to dirt bike, hey, nothing better than a full size bed or at least a six and a half foot bed compared to the five and a half that you get with the crew cab. The length of the vehicle is the same. It's just that you get a smaller bed, but a larger cab. So you have to make your decision there. Uh, but for sure, if you need utility, this is the one to get. Driving around in the city, this thing is easy to drive. You ride up nice and high. Of course, you do have an electronic parking brake plus the brake hold. I can just let my foot off there. Um, I like the controls for the heating controls. They are big, big toggles. They're not the easiest to read though, but the toggles are easy to do. Uh, even if you had uh, gloves on, you'd have no issue with that. So there's that. Also the gear shifter, it's a leather wrap gear shifter. You have the nice red stripe for the TRD. And I like, I don't know if it was, if they meant to do it, but where they actually put the seams on here, it really feels natural. It feels like it, like your hand just fits perfectly on this steering wheel where your fingers are, is perfect. Uh, so let's talk about what's under the hood. Uh, there are two power plants. This is the three and a half liter twin turbo V6. It puts out 389 horsepower and 479 pound feet of torque. We mentioned in a previous video, gone is the V8, but don't worry. This V6 twin turbo performs better and has better fuel economy than that V8. That thing was thirsty. Uh, so uh, this is this is a great engine. This three and a half liter V6, is the, this variant is used in other Toyota and Lexus products. We just recently tested the, the new Lexus LX600, same, same motor. It's just so smooth. And I, I'm telling you, once you get in here and drive it, you will not miss that V8 whatsoever, especially at the pumps. Uh, so uh, if you do want extra more extra power, you can go into the V6 twin turbo hybrid. That's not available on this particular trim, but on the higher trim levels, you can get the hybrid and that's going to give you about 479 around there uh, horsepower, over a hundred pound feet more of torque. Uh, so a lot of, of more power towing on this is rated for 8,200 pounds uh, on Towing on this particular double cab 4x4 is rated at 8,200 pounds and the towing can go all the way up to 12,000 pounds depending on the configuration. And it's not the best, but I'm just, I just have to go by, you know, what Toyota has said and take their word for it is that they, they said they designed this 
uh, w when it comes to towing, it's not about just max rating the, because some manufacturers can, you know, they can rate it 13, 14,000 pounds, for instance, but at that threshold, you don't really want to tow anything at that point. It's, it's going to be pretty sketchy. Uh, so Toyota uh, has claimed that the towing on this it's going to be as, as comforting and you're going to have as much of a secured feeling um, towing whether it's 800 or 8,000 pounds it's going to be the same unfortunately we do, didn't have a chance to try this towing uh, but hopefully we will if you own one of these vehicles if you've towed with it let me know in the comments is Toyota correct in what they're saying and how much do you tow and what do you tow and Speaking of what do you tow, there is something called the tow garage in this system. So you you may have several t trailers, a boat trailer, a utility trailer, maybe an RV, a travel trailer. They're all different weights, they're all different lengths. They might have different uh, numbers of axles and you can enter those into the system and it's going to take in account, uh, for instance, the blind spot monitoring. It's going to take in account the extra length of that uh, also the number of axles if you if it has electronic brakes trailer brakes on it it's going to adjust uh, the electronic brake controller uh, for that particular trailer and you just basically hook up your trailer and just select which which trailer you have so uh, pretty easy now we get to the off-road by the way a lot of these images that you're seeing are with the crew cab and there's a couple reasons why number one is I'm driving and I'm doing this review by myself and is I can't really film the car when I'm actually driving it. Four by four wise, this uh, TRD off-road uh, package, you know, you get the steering wheel, you get the, the, the shifter, the skid plates, the wheels, uh, but this one also has a locking rear differential. So if you need, you know, all the traction for, for those rear wheels, you, you have that as well. You do have a two-speed transfer case. We have, uh, and it's electronic, really easy to go into four high, four low. And then we have our multi-terrain selector, uh, including uh, we have the tow haul mode and we have the crawl mode. And I have had a chance to try that on a Tacoma and it, it's amazing. Like you could literally go rock crawling and not even do anything other than steer. It is, uh, it is literally like a smart cruise control for off-roading. So that is equipped with this particular TRD package. The drive of this Tundra, even for everyday driving, it's actually fairly easy. Uh, you ride up nice and high, of course, just like any pickup truck, uh, but uh, it it's very easy to drive, but it still feels like you're driving a truck. And I think that's quite important, you know, because trucks really do have an identity. And if you buy a pickup truck, you, get, you don't want to feel like you're driving a car but you don't want it to be like you're driving something ancient and, and that's that's really puts you need a lot of effort to drive it so it's a really really nice mix that they've done and of course this does have the, the full box frame now you don't have leaf springs anymore you have coilovers in the back and yeah they've balanced it quite well uh, so what's it going to cost you to get into this what i think is a super affordable full-size truck well, this Tundra, which is the 4x4 with the double cab and the TRD off-road package, slots in at just 54,000 Canadian dollars. So that package for the off-road package is 6,000 bucks. So this starts at uh, $48,000. In the US, it starts at $43,000. So even if you add that package in, which gives you a lot of content, we, we, we already said uh, you get things like the off-road 18-inch uh, wheels and tires, you get the skid plates, you have the locking rear diff, the, uh, the two-speed transfer case, um, you know, the composite box, you get all that, plus a lot of creature comforts in here, so it's not like it's a no-frills vehicle. You have eight-way power adjustable seats for both passenger and driver. You have heated seats, heated steering wheel. Um, yeah, it's really comfortable. Plus, you have a lot of uh, safety aids with Toyota Safety Sense. You have rear cross traffic alert. You have the, the, the parking sensors on here. Yeah, and so, yeah, so a lot of content for, I don't think it's a lot of money. What can you buy nowadays for 50 grand? Not much. And you have to remember, too, Toyota trucks in general have amazing resale. You could buy this truck and drive it for, 
you know, three, four years. I know a lot of people that do that and when they sell it, the cost of ownership is minimal. Sometimes they even make money, which is crazy. So uh, that's also a big, big plus to this vehicle. Toyota's done a great job and if you don't need all the frills, I think this is a very, very, very good option for a full-size pickup. And what's really surprising, since I've had it uh, in uh, the driveway for a week, are how many people have come by to look at the truck. I have lots of neighbors that always want to check out what, what we have in the driveway. And this one was surprisingly very popular. I didn't know so many people were interested in pickup trucks. Uh, maybe part of it because of the army green, it, it's very striking, but it's a good looking truck. So as I said uh, at the beginning, I think this is a great value and probably one of the best values out there if you're looking for a full size four x four truck. Um, and yeah, if you are, have a look at the Toyota. I don't think that you'll be disappointed at all, especially for $54,000. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think in the comments below and we hope to see you on the next Everyday Review. And don't forget, hit that thumbs up and subscribe as well. Cheers.